Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for the first week of May. This is for April 30th to May 6th, but you know, whenever it resonates because timing is fluid. This is for the sign of Leo. Generally, my weekly readings are love readings. We'll see what comes up. Okay, Ace of Wands. This is about some new growth. Okay, some expansion or excitement or... Oh... There could be a new opportunity. I mean, you guys could have a new suitor, okay? There could be a new suitor. There could be a new love. Some of you could be receiving a message with somebody from somebody that's very exciting. This is the Wheel of Fortune, okay? This is a this is a something very good is happening, okay? Good luck is on its way, Leo. Something good is happening. You are about to start a new chapter that is emotionally fulfilling and promises a lot of growth. It looks like there's a new beginning here. Oh, but we have the magician reverse. This is somebody the this is somebody. This is a uh, feeling of or somebody. It's really somebody that is very cunning, deceptive, crafty. It's a trickster. The magician in reverse is a trickster. So I don't know if that's who you've been dealing with in the past, if that's you, or, you know, I don't know if it's this person, but this is a trickster. This is somebody who is dishonest and manipulative. You can't change the meaning of the card reverse. That's what it means. Maybe exciting, yes. There could be a spark. I mean, yeah, when you deal with somebody that is that tricky, there's usually a spark. <laughs> you know, because we tend to crave mystery. We, we tend to crave stuff that isn't good for us. So, hey, it is what it is, right? Not saying, I don't know what this is. We're going to get some more. Oh, it could end in heartache with the Three of Swords. Yikes, yikes. So you could be receiving an exciting offer or you have received an exciting offer. <laughs> but with the three of swords, there's some grief here. Some sort of grief, suffering, lack of organization, a little bit of chaos. There's, this is uh, anger, the emperor reversed, okay? So, uh, loss of concentration and loss of focus. Interesting. Connected to the Wheel of Fortune. There's a change of course here. Maybe you're leaving something behind because, and there's something new. I don't know. What the hell is this? There's lack of victory and success. Six of Wands reverse with this trickster. And maybe and there's a lack there is. There's a lack of victory and success. There's no movie. There's lack of harmony, lack of balance. Both manipulators. The Emperor reversed and the magician reversed. You got somebody being manipulating here. And maybe that's why this wheel of fortune is here, is because you're you maybe you've decided to Remove yourself, or they've removed themselves. There's a change, of course. They're both right next to the wheel. Somebody may have come to the conclusion that there's no victory and success here with this manipulator. And maybe they're wanting to offer their, their love and grow someplace else. Because there's been, who knows. Yeah, there's been a lot of family feuds. Mm. Ten of Pentacles reversed. There's been too much, too many fights here. It's caused a lot of grief, a lot of hurt, a lot of sorrow. 
somebody's deciding to change the course though because there's been too much grief there's been too much fighting somebody's turning away from this dynamic and that's why the wheel is is spinning because somebody's decided to turn away from it that's that's what this is i'm not going to be manipulated i'm not going to be controlled oh oh goodness gracious Okay, somebody, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that has promised you a lot of growth. They've promised you something very excited, exciting, but they've brought in a lot of hurt and sorrow and grief into your life. And somebody is turning away from it now. Turning away from this water sign, they're mirroring each other. Releasing. Nine of Swords reverse, closing the door, releasing it, letting it go. I am not going to be manipulated and controlled by you. Changing their own destiny. Somebody here is, has decided to take, make a change. I'm not going to let you control me. And I know that I'm repeating myself, but... Leo, you've been controlled by somebody and there's no victory and success. You're dealing with somebody who's very crafty and cunning. And I think that you have come to the conclusion that there's, there's too many conflicts here. There's too much fighting. There's too many feuds. This hurts too much. There's difficulty in communication. It's hard to communicate with this person that you're dealing with. It is. This person tries to stick their nose into everything that you do. They cause a lot of unexpected conflicts in your life, whoever it is that you're dealing with. Yes, it was an exciting start, right? It really was. There was a lot of passion there. But I feel like there was also a lot of manipulation and control because when you're dealing with the magician reverse, this person is very, very tricky. Sneaky, manipulative. They have a lot of tricks up their sleeve. They're able to manipulate in a way that you never thought possible. Mm. End of May. Advice. I think that you guys are changing your course. You are. You're bringing something better into your life. By releasing something, because this is Nine of Swords is releasing. Nines are closure. Yeah, there's a lot of self love here. There is. There's a lot of self love. This person that you are dealing with, whoever it was, there might have been a lot of blind faith. Not knowing what you were getting into. And now I feel like you guys have found your own self-love again. There is. There's a lot of self-love here. You guys have gone through some sort of rebirth or a renewal. You've worked hard on yourselves, figuring out what it is that you want. It feels like you guys are have done some soul searching in the core and you're changing your course. You guys are changing your course, no longer wanting to fight destiny. Working with it. You guys have been lied to, and it looks like you're removing some obstacles. You've been stuck in limbo for a while, right? You have. There's been a loss of faith. Uh, there's been a lack of listening to your inner guide because you've been manipulated. And when manipulators come into the picture, that's what they do. Whew. 
you've been dealing with somebody who's really, really moody, up and down, almost like, I hate to say the word, bipolar. <coughs> And it feels like you've been waiting for things to change and it's not you've come to this conclusion that there's really no commitment here I can't commit myself to a trickster to somebody that's cunning and manipulative there's no commitment here no real commitment things this has so you are dealing with a person that has caused you a lot of imbalance and I think that you've been waiting for things to change and they haven't changed and you've probably resisted making the changes but since nobody was going to make a move I think that you're making the move Leo I think that you are making the move to remove this obstacle from your life because you love yourself I love myself I have compassion for me you're finding that strength within okay you are You have, you've worked too hard to get to where you're at, to let somebody come in and manipulate you and control you with the magician and the emperor reverse. The emperor's under here. You're dealing with somebody that is very, very manipulative and controlling. And they've brought a lot of imbalance to your life. They're very moody, temperamental, up and down. And they've, they've held you back. And you've been wanting to resist this this change. But when you get the hanged man, it's time to let go. It is time to let go, especially with the Nine of Swords reversed underneath it. It's time to let go of this saga, this depression, this anxiety, this worry. It's time to let it go. It is. You're sacrificing yourself needlessly. And I feel like many of you have come to that conclusion. It looks like you guys are, are not trying to control things anymore. You're going with it. The Wheel of Fortune brings a change of course that is meant to be. And I, can, and I know in the past you've been fighting it. And I can see that you've been fighting it. But it feels like now you, you can't fight it anymore. You can't. You can't. And you know that you can't. You can't fight destiny. You really can't. Yeah, you guys have be re been reluctant to let go. You've been clinging to the past, clinging to whatever this is, and not being able to release it with the death card reversed. You've been holding on to something that is dead. And it has it's getting old. When the death card is reversed, that's exactly what it is. You've been holding on to something that is dead, clinging to it, and it's unrealistic. There's no growth here. And it feels like you've come to the conclusion you see the truth. That's what I see. I feel like you guys see the truth. And you realize that there's incompatibility. There is. <clears throat> two of cups reversed. There's incompatibility here. There's too many arguments. And it feels like you guys are probably withdrawing from the situation. You're dealing with somebody that is again very controlling cold and detached and they use emotional blackmail as a way to keep you stuck that's not love I feel like you're dealing with a water sign Pisces Cancer Scorpio You have Scorpio a couple times. You have Scorpio quite a bit. You also have Gemini. You have Taurus. You have Sagittarius. Either way, there's you have uh, Libra, because uh, the Empress is Taurus or Libra. Anyway, the Two of Cups reversed is separation, breakups, ending partnerships, Abuse in a relationship, disconnection, and incompatibility. 
And I think that you guys have come to the conclusion. You've been holding on to this incompatible incom relationship. And it's time for me to bring my power back. It's time for me to find my confidence and my courage and my strength to get back to where I used to be. I think that you guys are finding that force within you to take action this week. So I feel like this is a week of not fighting destiny. Relighting that fire within. I think there's a there's a, a release here. You've been holding on to something that's dead for a while. And either they're releasing you or you're releasing them. That's what it looks like. And whatever happens brings you back to where you need to be. do we? But we'll take these two because they flipped. Intention and surrender. I'm going to read those even though we know what they mean. I'm going to read them. See what the book has to say. We'll do surrender first since I opened right up to it. A lone woman stands motionless in a field of flowers as if caught in a poignant moment of realization. Imagine that. A gentle breeze carries tiny seed heads upwards and butterflies float from her open palm like surrendered thoughts ascending to the heavenly realms. By drawing this card, the universe is highlighting possible resistance ugh, and attachments in need of your attention. You may have reached an impasse within a challenging predicament, or perhaps you are struggling to maintain control within a situation. If you are satisfied, you can do no more. Now is a good time to let go and surrender. Let your meditation be on the words, thy will, not my will. And this is true. You can't fight destiny. What is meant to be is meant to be, and what isn't meant to be isn't meant to be. And I feel like you guys have come to that realization. Thank you, Lord. Intention. This card shows a woman holding a vessel of water. Her gaze is directed and purposeful as she steadily pours the contents into the ether. She hovers on a starlit background of blue and aqua, the colors of the throat chakra, which represents communication and clarity of thought. Water has the capacity to shape shift form into liquid, vapor, or solid, depending on which atmospheric conditions are present. Just as the atmosphere shapes the form of water, so too the power of intention activates and shapes your reality. Indeed, all creation is driven by the power of intention. Drawing this card prompts you to contemplate your aims and intentions. Be clear that they accurately reflect your feelings, thoughts, and spiritual aspirations and think deeply as to whether they are honorable and worthwhile. Reach for your highest potential. Events may not always manifest as you wish, 
but the purity of your intent will be recognized and accounted for in accordance with the laws of cause and effect. As written in the King James Bible, as you sow, as you sow, you shall reap. So may the harvest of your wise intentions be bountiful. You reap what you sow. Don't waste your time in a situation that isn't fruitful. And that's what I have, Leo. Talk to you later.